I was getting ready to have a meeting the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I know how I react to this, these people because I'll be in a meeting and I'm trying to head them down a path and I really just want, just do it my way. Just right. do it my way. Go to a controller saboteur. I have that. I have that. <laughs> and so I think, well, I did a PQ, I did some PQ reps before I went in there because I had to recognize of the four or five people in the meeting, what they, what their reactions were and how many times in earlier sessions that will trigger me to speak faster, to speak louder and to be more demanding. And so when I went through this, this process before I prepared for the meeting, what I was able to do is instead of me leading the questions, I was able to ask people what they wanted to accomplish and give them a chance to talk about it, observe, and then come up with something where we would all feel more comfortable moving forward instead of me trying to tell people what to do. Although I really like telling people that what to do. <laughs> well, that probably works with your relationship with the, uh, your significant other as well, right? Oh my gosh, no, it doesn't. That's really been fun because he's got a stickler one. Uh -huh. It's very, very tight, very, very tight. But we talk about it and he'll even say, that. does that sound like a stickler to you? And I'll say, <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm not going to spend the entire morning trying to figure out the answer to that question. Let's just move on. It's like, so it's it helps you to communicate, especially if you're in a leadership team. It helps you com communicate because you can say, oh, you know, I shouldn't have said that. You know who said that. What else can we do? Yeah.